Concentration of the reactants is also an important contributor to the rate of chemical reactions. Here we'll use our clock reaction again to measure the effect of concentration on rate. Once again, we have two parts of our reaction, and we'll mix them. Only this time, we'll only use half as much of part B on this side. In order to keep the volume the same, we'll just add some water. So we begin our reaction by adding the first reactant to our tubes. And now, just the same side, we'll add our half concentration and full concentration. Quick stir to make sure that they're well mixed. So our reaction on this side has already completed. That was the one where I added twice as much of part B. This side with the lower concentration of reactant B has still yet to complete. So at high concentrations, reactions finish quickly. At low concentrations, they happen slowly.